Hello everyone, uh, we're sitting here over by Grand Rapids uh, as we start out this uh, episode of Transport Fever 2 Tropical Fun. Now, I pontificated last time about getting a machines production uh, uh, a process online, and uh, I was uh, thinking, you know, uh, we could get steel production online here at Grand Rapids. And then we could bring, uh, and then up at Thornton, we have a uh, machines factory. And we also, well, we also have a steel, steel mill up here. Um, so maybe we could use that one as we got uh, planks here and steel here, which we could bring in here. So we just need to bring in coal and we've got iron over here. So, yeah. Um, that would, uh, that, that would definitely work, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, uh, I think the closest coal is over here. Uh, which also happens to be beside another steel mill. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I'll bring in coal from over here. And I'll bring in the iron over here up to this steel mill here at Thornton and then I'll run the steel over here as well as uh, planks from the sawmill because we've got production capacity there still and then from from the uh, uh, the machines factory we'll start out with delivering machines to Thornton and then uh, also Sacramento wants machines and Garland wants machines so uh, I think that's all that wants machines. Um, is that everybody that wants machines? You know what? I think I can look that up over here. Uh, towns. Uh, does it list uh, goods? Yeah. Uh, Okay, yeah, there's only the three that want machines. Is it? Uh, no, there's uh, Everett and Lincoln as well. So there's five that want machines. Yeah. Uh, but we have three right in a row, Thornton, Sacramento, and Garland. And then we've got Everett. Yeah. And Lincoln. Uh, Lincoln. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, right. Uh, so, uh, what we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with, uh, getting this here, uh, steel mill, uh, operational. Now, uh, we're gonna need to bring in iron and coal, uh, and this is a, a two for, a two and two for one. So, ultimately, I'm going to want to plumb in two uh, iron mines and two coal mines. Uh, so, uh, ideally, to avoid traffic jams, I'm going to put them on their own platforms at the station. Uh, and that, uh, at least that's my current thinking. Uh, maybe I won't, uh, but I'll start with one and one. And, and then we'll go from there. So either way, I'm going to need one platform for iron deliveries, one platform for coal deliveries, and one platform for steel pickups, which will then take it over here. And then I'll need a platform over here for plank pickups to take it over here. So I'm going to need uh, three platforms here, uh, three platforms here, uh, although I could potentially just do trucks straight into Thornton here. Um, anyway, uh, so I'm going to start out with a cargo station with three platforms here. And no, three. I could go for shorter stations. I'm not going to. So I'm going to put this in here. Yep, that got tendril action. Uh, yep, yeah. okay. 
So if I put this here and I turn this slightly, uh, I'm just going to get rid of this because it's just pointless. Right. Okay. Now, uh, what I need is uh, a station here at the iron. Now, I'm going to keep the uh, cargo uh, network largely separated from the passenger network. Uh, just because that's going to uh, simplify some things a little bit, I think. But, uh, now the question is, uh, these things are not organized in such a way that I could do a nice uh, mainline uh, uh, setup here. So, uh, well anyway, uh, well let's uh, get rid of this and this. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah. Now, uh, we're going to need a single platform uh, for here. Well, well, let's take it off of this one. Uh, right. Okay, we got tendrils there. Now, uh, now let's take a look. Uh, I'm going to need a line from here up to here. And I need a line from here into here. Hmm. Hmm. If I put the station on this side, then I can come around this way. Yeah, and then I can keep the tracks together here. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to just build all the stations uh, initially. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, up tempo everything here because uh, we're going to be waiting for cash a little bit here. Uh, I'm just going to put this up so we can see what the cash situation is doing, right? Uh, so, uh, okay, we've got enough cash here. So, yep, we'll put that one up. And, yeah, because then we can bring these up and this one up. You know what? I'm going to do both of these at the same time. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to put the three platform station here. Like this. Well, I'm going to wait for enough cash and then I'm going to do that. There, uh, yeah. So we have uh, decent income now, so that's uh, that's helping things. But once we get this up, it'll be even better. Okay, so now we've got our uh, our our stations there, and we need the coal uh, stations as well. These two can come in. Well, can I get tendrils over here? No. No. Okay. Well, let's, uh, wait. You know what? Um, oh, I could uh, come in on that side. Okay. Uh, right. So, well wang that around and uh, stick that in there and this can go in here okay so that will get us all the stations we need to plumb all of this in now uh, I'm going to bring 
this up around this way. Uh, okay. So this is going to need... Uh, we're going to keep things level-ish where possible. Uh, I'm also going to double track everything. Uh, now, I'm double tracking because I'm definitely going to need multiple trains on these lines. You know, that's, uh, that's not even in debate here. Uh, okay, so there. Now here, uh, we're going to bring the, the main line connection around this way, uh, like so. And that's going to connect up here. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then we'll bring this up like so. Yep. Okay, so that gets me the far coal mine on the connection path. Yeah, this is the long one. So this will be the really profitable line. Uh, now, if anyone dis notices or discovers that I've missed a... Uh, coal mine close to the uh, steel mill i'm sure you'll leave a comment in the uh, you know in the comment section uh, but just be assured that if there is one i didn't see it uh, at least at this point uh, okay we got some new vehicles popping up of course that's not helping us any okay now how am i going to bring this around here so if i bring it around i can come in this way or I could come in this way. I think I'll come in across the top here. Right. Okay, so that's what I'll do. I'll come in through here and around the top of the uh, the steel or the tools uh, machines factory. Uh, right. Okay. So uh, that means I'm going to be coming up along this way. Okay. So we'll come up along uh, this way. Yeah, uh, like this. Uh, okay, did that snap? Um, it has now. Uh, right, okay, so we've come around there. We need to come around more like this. You know, this is turning into a main line. Yeah, is it will uh, it will allow us to bring? Uh, no, we don't need to, but it might allow us to bring. Yeah, hard to say. I might need to uh, get the sandbox mod up at some point here, and actually uh, uh, build some additional uh, factories to go with the uh, raw materials. Uh, right, okay, and we want to come around the top up there. Uh, so, like this. Um, what if I do this? Nothing changes, okay. And we got a, we got a fairly long tunnel there. What's it do if we do this? Oh, that is hideous. That is proper hideous. What is it, though? Um, tunnel, 930. Uh, yeah, we'll go with the tunnel. Yeah. Um, the tunnel is definitely the way to go there. Uh, but what I need to do is get rid of this road which is in the way here. So I'm, again, I'm going to bring the uh, I'm going to bring the through line along here, uh, right, like so. Now, if I bring this up here, yeah, nine thirty three. Yeah, we can go with that. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's definitely the, the way to go here. Um, 
you know, and then I can come around and link up on the outside here. I'm going to want two more platforms there. Yeah. Or at least probably two more platforms there because I'm bringing uh, two of each of coal and uh, iron into that. Uh, okay. So we need 500k to uh, to finish that dual track section. Uh, so we're gonna have to wait for that. So while we're waiting for that, if I bring, how many trains am I gonna be running on there, really? I, I, how many are going to be conflicting? That's the question. And I think just enough will be conflicting that maybe I want a dedicated platform for each. You know what? No, I'm going to leave it. Uh, I'm not going to do that just yet. If we get a uh, pile up, uh, then I'll add more platforms. But let's not uh, add more expenses before they're necessary, eh? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's the sensible thing. Oh, uh, while I'm waiting, I'll just uh, get rid of this useless road here. Mostly this stuff is going to get connected up with um, rail, so I don't need uh, roads there. Uh, and that takes out a level crossing, right? So uh, this is going to go up to here. Uh, right. It's kind of nice that you can snap uh, non-station tracks to station tracks. Okay, are we going to break 500 on this round? Um, okay, we did. Uh, okay, so that has that connection constructed. Now we need to even these up. Right. Right. Like that. And then from here I need to connect up to a platform here. And I think I can live with that swan neck affair. So I'll do that, and we'll come along like so. Uh, like so. Oh, well, yeah, we got negative cash. We can't build anything. Yeah, you, you, you knew that was going to happen, didn't you? Okay, and then we'll construct that. Um, right. And then we need one going along this way to the iron mines. Okay. okay. What was I, I looking at here? So I needed this coming up over to here and then splitting to go over here and over here. Right. So I was bringing these guys around this side. Right. Okay, let's uh, build that. Okay. Uh, one good reason for using uh, external tracks for this is it allows me to put signals on them. Because uh, you, you can't put signals in the middle of station tracks. Uh, right, okay, that. Nope. Uh, nope. So this is going to come around this way. And then like so. Um, yep. Yeah, I can live with that. Uh, okay. This is going to double up here. Then I need to 
We split this um, about, well, actually, about here. So, if we do this, do we get an egregious junction? No, we don't. Okay. Uh, yeah, we split it there. And then this can wang around there. Yeah, okay. This, uh, this I can live with. Right, okay. Ah, they have some bugs there that need to be fixed. Okay, and there we go. Right, now I need to uh, bring this across here. Right, well, just like that. And... Uh, yeah, we'll run it straight through here. Yeah. Uh, and I want to split it just after the uh, level crossing there. Um, how terrible is that? Tolerable. Okay. And then we're going to bring a line out like so. Actually, uh, yeah, actually, no, that, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'll rejigger this later if I, if I need to. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. So we've got this. Good. That's the tracks. Now we're obviously going to need a signal or three on here. Uh, but this will get steel production online uh, once I fling some trains at it. And while we're at it, we'll probably replace some of the uh, existing uh, uh, lumber production with trains as well. Yeah, okay, so we have that. Uh, now what do I need for signals? Well, I need a signal at either end of these uh, uh, two way uh, two dual track sections, but let's just plumb a few of them in here. Uh, you know, and then we'll be able to fling you know a few trains up and down these lines. Now I've got a split here, so I'm going to need a signal here, a signal here, and a signal here and one here and I think there's room yeah we'll put one of those there and we need to have a couple along here yeah yeah that'll do for now then we got to come up here do the same yep Okay, we're going to have uh, signals in the tunnel. I don't like having semaphore signals in tunnels because they just, uh, the semaphore arms uh, disappear into the tunnel wall. Uh, <laughs> which uh, I suppose is a, a real problem. Uh, anyway, uh, here we go. Right, and now we've got a, a thing here. That needs to... Oh, I did double slip it. Okay. Um, right. Keep going here. And we'll need one there. And that's a wide gap, so we'll put another one here. Okay. Now, I'm going to need a depot or or something so I can fling some trains at this. Yeah, uh, I'm definitely going to need to fling some trains at this. 
Uh, right, so if I do this, I'll be able to get away with one depot, uh, which I will put here. Right? What the? No. Uh, okay. Now, if I double slip these, yeah, okay, now I can get from the depot to uh, both directions. So we need a building. Uh, right, okay, now we've got a depot. Now we can fling some trains at all of this. Uh, right, so this here, that's Thornton Iron Ore Mine number two. So let's get my CDO operating here. Uh, yep, so this will be Thornton Iron Ore Mine number two. Iron Ore Mine number two. Yep, and this will be Thornton Iron Ore Mine. Uh, right or mine and so will this one iron or mine yep yeah. uh, by doing this okay that's thornton sawmill so we'll uh, do that and we'll do that here too sawmill and this one also. Right. Now, up here, this is Thornton Steel Mill. I wish they'd fix the uh, capitalization on these things, but uh, that's uh, relatively minor. And this here will also be Thornton Steel Mill. Yep. And this is the Thornton Machines Factory. Yep. And so is this. Machines Factory. Yep. Then, way over here, that's the Grand Rapids Coal Mine. Uh, and so will this be. Coal mine, yep. And this one here is Grand Rapids coal mine number two. So that's coal mine and coal mine number two. Yep. Okay, so now, now we'll fling some trains at this. Uh, right. Uh, so, uh, we need more cash to really do this. Uh, right, okay, so uh, we need locos. We need something with some actual power here. Uh, well, and something that can do 50k. Well, that has 240 kilowatts and 60 kilonewtons. The Baldwin has uh, 284 and 70, and it does 60. Yeah, we'll take the Baldwin. And cargo. We're going to need gondolas. Right, so... Uh, now let's just take a look here. If we take this one at 10 tons per 7, uh, we get... Uh, 10 tons per 7, or 5 tons for 4. So, seven tenths. Or, okay, so ten divided by seven, so that's uh, one point four. And uh, five divided by four is one point two five. So this is a better weight per uh, cargo ratio. 
how long does a train end up being to carry, say, a decent amount? Yeah. And that there is the problem. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we'll uh, grab this one. Oh, come on. Make sure you get the... One, two, three, four, five. So 10 of those gives us 70 capacity. Let's make it 105 capacity. We'd need 4 million to buy the train. And we need 3 million at 70 capacity. So that's uh, definitely going to be a challenge. Uh, we're going to need at least one, two, we need at least two trains, uh, one for iron and one for for uh, for coal. Yeah, but ideally we're going to need four. So uh, four trains. That's sixteen million. That's going to take a while to accumulate, isn't it? Uh, well, we can get two more million from the. Uh, loan so we got enough for one train uh, okay well let's go back in here uh, and we'll we'll take it up to 105 capacity uh, we'll buy one okay and then we're gonna fling that on a new line and we're gonna put it on the where is it uh, where is it Oh, it's over here. We're going to bring it from here to here. Yeah, that's going to uh, potentially earn a uh, real profit when it arrives. So this is going to be the Grand Rapids Coal to, to oh, this is going to be Cargo Rail uh, to the Thornton uh, Steel Mill. Okay. Uh, right. And of course, uh, this is going to... Oh, th oh here's our train. Uh, right. Let's ride the train, shall we? We gotta wait for, uh, for money to accumulate anyway. Let's ride the train. So here's our tunnel. Uh, yeah, eh, the tunnel's not so bad, really. See what I mean about the semaphore signals, right? Uh, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, we've come out of the tunnel. Uh, you know the scenery with the mountains on the side there? Oh, that's just, just brilliant. Uh, yeah, I like what they've done with the visuals here. It's, uh, it's done really nicely. Uh, the way the grass shows up, it's, uh... You know, and I'm not even running this on maximum, uh, you know, graphics quality. So, you know, that's uh, kind of impressive. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it'll actually, you know, it looks really nice. Uh, the uh, industry's off on the side there. Like, that's a, that's a coal mine. Uh, and then there's the other one that we're aiming for there. Yep. Okay, so we've definitely got coal to pick up, a full platform no less, so we're going to be taking a full load back. Uh, so yep, we've got a full load, and uh, since this is mostly flat, yeah, we can get away with the, uh, the heavy load. Uh, yeah. So we'll see what, uh, what this, uh, the income from this is when it arrives. Uh, we're obviously going to need more trains on each each of these lines, but that's something that can be sorted out. Okay, and, and here we go. We're uh, we're going to be coming up on the tunnel uh, after this long sweeping curve here. Um, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I kind of like this. Uh, the embankments there—it's—it's all—it's uh, all quite nice. Uh, 
And so, so I, I'm kind of glad uh, I went for this plan here. Uh, right. So into the tunnel. It's a fairly long tunnel, but it's not egregiously long, really. Uh, it was worth it for keeping the uh, construction costs down and the uh, tracks relatively flat. Okay, we're coming through here. Now, I'm going to jump out of there so we can see what kind of income this gives us. It's a fairly long distance. This should pay off fairly well. Let's down-tempo it here so we can just uh, admire the train pulling in there. And we get 1.8 million. So, yeah, uh, this is definitely going to help our bottom line substantially. Uh, so once this uh, setup is uh, fully operational, uh, we'll definitely be able to uh, run uh, a lot more stuff a lot more blithely. Uh, and yes, I really did just use the term blithely. Uh, anyway, let's up-tempo this again, and we're going to buy another Baldwin and another set of gondolas. Yep, and then we're going to wait to accumulate to 4 million. And then uh, we should be able to uh, get a steel train underway. Uh, this episode is longer than I uh, really uh, wanted it to be. But I want to get a uh, I want to get an iron ore train going also in this uh, in this episode. Uh, it won't be paying off quite as nicely as the coal train, but uh, then at least it'll give semi balance to the steel mill, uh, and then uh, once that's uh, operational, I think I'll need two trains on the coal line for one train on the iron line for balance. Uh, I'll have to play with that later, but uh, yeah, and then uh, after we get, I get uh, next part, we'll be getting the rest of the uh, machines chain plumbed up and uh, start delivering machines to Thornton. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to have to wait for another coal delivery. Where is the coal train? Oh yeah, it's uh, coming out on its... Uh, Distance there. Oh, that's an interesting effect. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I kind of wish this uh, white uh, thing here, you know, I, I don't really like it. Uh, it's not the worst that it could be, but I don't like it. Uh, I'm thinking, how am I going to get the planks in up here? Uh... Yeah, it'll probably just come straight through like this. Yeah, probably. Uh, anyway. Uh, right. Uh, where's the coal train? It's, uh, it's coming back. Okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, once I get this uh, machine's chain all plumbed together, and we have... Uh, we have deliveries into Thornton. Thornton should start uh, should start growing fairly uh, substantially, and uh, we'll have quite a bit more of a uh, profit situation going on. And then ultimately, I'll need to bring machines up to Garland and uh, and Sacramento, uh, which I'll probably do by paralleling the uh, passenger line. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just bring it down a freight main line straight out like that. Yeah, 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 that's probably what I'll do. I'll parallel the passenger line up to Garland, though, for sure. I'll have to think about that when the time comes. Uh, right, so, okay, our coal train is about to arrive here. Uh, and that should be enough to just tip it over to over 4 million. Because that should be another 1.8. There we go. Uh, now we've got a uh, train here. 
we can do a new line and we'll go from the farthest iron ore to the steel mill uh, right and this is going to be the cargo rail Thornton iron 2 Thornton steel mill right okay so let's ride this one so that's going by the uh, sawmill and there's the split yeah I'll run a track straight out of there and then I'll rejigger that split yeah that's what I'll do uh, right I'll probably forget that when, when the time comes anyway uh, here we go we're picking up some uh, iron ore uh, and this is going to be a full load so there's that so we'll find out what the maximum payoff is on this train uh, we can actually run longer trains on here uh, based on the uh, gruntiness of the uh, loco here uh, so I might extend the uh, platforms and uh, maybe uh, run uh, trains with uh, 200 capacity or something like that. Now, that'd require 320 meter platforms. That'd be pretty substantial. I could do that, though. I mean, who doesn't love a massive long train? Like, really, eh? Uh, right. So we're not holding up the uh, level crossings all that much. There. Uh, right. So 800k. So that's not too bad. Um, right. So it got stuck there. Uh, so that was uh, that was fun. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that looked like on the video, but uh, yeah, it didn't crash. So clearly, I tickled a bug there somehow. Uh, and what I did to get out of it was I alt tabbed, uh, and that uh, changed the focus, minimized the game. And then I uh, uh, reactivated it, and uh, that seems to have unstuck it. Anyway. Yeah, uh, so that's going to be uh, be everything uh, this time around here. Uh, this is going to be absolutely brilliant. The train's coming in and out of here. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, okay, so that's all, all for this time. Uh, next episode will be, it uh, uh, should be later this week. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, it looks like we've got uh, got some work cut out for us. So... Uh, it should be semi-interesting for the next uh, next couple parts. So, uh, you know, come on back next time and see what kind of nonsense I end up creating next time. Uh, so, yeah, that's all for now, folks.